guys. So welcome back to another episode. Today um, we found, unfortunately, a piglet out of our last litter that has what's called Atresia ani. And what that means is the piglet literally does not have an opening in its anus for fecal matter to come out. So I've had this before over the you know many, many years of raising pigs, thousands of litters or piglets. Um, and I've had it once in a male piggy that died within four days. And then I had it in a gilt that actually ended up fistulating through her rectum into her vaginal wall and she was able to poop out of her, her vulva. So that pig actually made it up to butcher weight. Um, but I've never seen this before. So this piglet is going on, I think five weeks of age. And we didn't really notice anything different about him until maybe the last two weeks when he started eating solid food and he got kind of bigger and bigger and we thought you know well that's weird you know he's just got kind of this little pot belly and I don't know why it didn't occur to me I think because I thought that it was fatal early in a male pig I didn't even consider that it could be atresia ani anyway so I looked today and sure enough this piggy has no bum so I'm going to be butchering him and trying to sell him maybe as like a, a suckling pig to somebody who wants to maybe have like a barbecue or something like that just so that we can maybe make a little bit of money off of him because you know otherwise it's a complete waste and so I will show you the piggy and we'll go through some of the steps of how I butcher him and prepare him for sale <laughs> So we weighed this piglet, this piglet, just like this, is 13 pounds. And I'm going to be curious to see how much weight it loses when I remove the intestines and whatnot. Um, usually there's, with a pig that you um, leave the skin on, that you scald and leave the skin on, they dress out around 70%. So a 100 pound pig would be 70 pounds um, ready to, you know, cook and eat. Uh, so I've got the pig here. I've got my scraper here for removing the, fur, the hair my knife and then I've got some water here that's right around I think it's 145 150 degrees Fahrenheit with the idea that it's gonna lose some temperature when I put him in there and we're gonna do him kind of half at one time and then half the other time because he won't fit in the whole the whole container Wait for this to cool down so I can touch it in order to uh, hold the other side and get it in the other direction. Okay, so for the most part, I've got the piggy scalded and scraped. You can see there's still hair, obviously on the face, around some of the knuckles, but there's still hair here and there. You can sit and spend all day picking at this hair and get it all, for the most part, off. Or the faster way to do this is to just use a little torch. And what you do is by heat, getting the torch on like this, kind of pull the hair up like that, and you can just kind of burn it and rub it off. 
it's not quite as clean looking as when you actually scald it and scrape it 100%, but it gets the job done and people generally, they're not really eating the hair anyway because they're gonna put it on some kind of rotisserie which will um, make most of this kind of the crust that holds the sweet, the juicy meat inside. So it's not that important. It just gets it, you know, nobody wants to buy a piglet with hair on it though. So I go over the whole thing with the torch and burn all these loose little bits of hair that are still sort of stuck in the pig. Here's the pig after it's been scalded and scraped. Um, you can see, you can get it pretty clean. It's really hard to get in some of these uh, cracks in the face and you know, these uh, wrinkles. So you just do the best you can using a scrubby, kind of like this helps because you can dig at some of that and clean it off. And then of course, using the torch to burn off all the little random hairs that are still stuck in that you can't really pull out with your fingernails anymore um, also helps. So using a scraper is great. Here's the pile of skin slash hair that we got off of this piggy. Um, and now we're pretty much ready to go ahead and butcher it. You know, cut it up and be it so it's prepared for the buyer. We're gonna take a real quick look though here and you can see that this pig literally had no bum hole. It had no anus. So that's why it's all filled up here. And we think that it was doing pretty good when it was just milk that it was nursing because the milk is primarily fluid. But as it started to eat solid foods, that's when this became a problem. And then we saw it and thought, wait, what's going on here? And we realized that it has no bum hole. So, all right, next step will be to go ahead and butcher this piggy. We'll lay him on his back and see what we're dealing with here. It's gonna be hard not to nick those intestines because they're so, so swollen. What I'm doing is I'm setting the knife on my finger and running my finger in there along the skin. Not my very, apparently not very sharp knife. <laughs> All right. And there we have lots and lots of air in these intestines. Break through the, I think it's the symphysis, symph symphysis pubis. I think. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in college. So here's the intestine. Comes between the pelvic bones through the pelvic arch there, and just kind of ends there, as far as I can tell. I don't think it goes anywhere. So it goes to right there. I can feel it. I can feel where it ends. Right there. Right through the skin here. So, oh well, poor little piggy. But, you know, he'll make somebody a nice summer barbecue. And that's the end of it right there. Isn't that weird? Anyway, okay, so I'll show you what this looks like when he's all said and done, all cleaned out and ready to go in the freezer bag, okay? Okay, so here's the pig's bladder. Here's the muscles and whatnot that hold it on and his penis and whatnot. And that is the end of his intestine. It just ends in a little pucker right there. Um, with no hole to let it out. And you can see there's a little bit of fecal matter in there, little specks of fecal matter, but it's mostly it was air that he had in there. His stomach here was full of milk. So he's still nursing, still trying to feed himself and growing actually, he's about the size of the other piggies that are in the litter. Um, but now that she's starting to reduce her milk supply and he was is being required to eat solid foods, 
that's when he started swelling up. And of course, this is all just fermenting in his stomach, and that's why they're so it's so gassy. The intestines and everything have been removed. As you can see, it's, if you pull it this way, you can see that it's completely hollow here. Um, now I'm going to weigh it, and we'll get an idea how much weight it had in it. Let me take this apple out of its mouth that we put there for the purpose of trying to sell it on Craigslist. <laughs> sure how we'll get this thing to stay on the scale but oh, that works all right 8.4 pounds so it started out at 13 pounds and butchered out at 8.4 which is pretty close to 70 percent i think hmm. yay yay for me <laughs> what I've got here is these are shrink wrap bags that we order for our turkeys and chickens when we do poultry and we're gonna go ahead and put this piggy in a shrink wrap bag because I think the presentation will look a lot nicer and it'll keep him from freezer burning in the meantime while I'm trying to find a buyer. So. A little sticky. There we go, let him go. Yep, that looks good. I don't like to twist it because I want the air to come out there. Oh, not too tight. <laughs> Alright, so we shrink the, we squish the piggy in there. We kind of squeeze most of the air out that we can. We put the zip tie on. We don't do it too tight so that the air can still at least air, you know, leave. We don't, we don't need the water, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna zip it. And then, if we were ready, we'd have <laughs> scissors. It trims off really nice, but go ahead and use the knife. Mm. So, first, yeah, there you go. Just because I have anal about zip ties. Okay. The knife is really sharp. No, no, we already, <laughs> we already established it is not sharp enough. Okay. Oh, we're gonna cut that too? Yeah. Use the other knife. I just sharpened it. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. So we leave just a little bit on there. Scissors work really good. Much better, yeah, much scissors. safer too. <laughs> All right, and then... Then we get him out of the hot water. Yep, put him there. That's beautiful. He looks awesome. Yeah, right. Until next time, good luck on your farm.